What's up, everyone? This is part three of my playthrough of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. We're just going to do a short intro where I'm going to cover some of the basics. That's probably going to be in the intro of every video, if I'm if I'm honest. Uh, Square Enix provided me a code for this game. I do think it's important to tell you that. Regardless of all that, I am being completely honest, and I am not made to tell you that I am really, really enjoying this game. I am loving playing it. So I hope you enjoy watching me play it. Um, I said in my last video that each part was going to try to align with chapters, since there are chapters in the game. My playthrough, Chapter 3, is just really long. It's about two hours, which is pretty long for a Let's Play. So I'm going to break up Chapter 3 into two parts. This is the first part of that. The second part should be up on YouTube quickly. It's already recorded. I just have to record these little intros for them. So look for that soon. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and come find me on Twitch and Twitter. Seems we have entered Chapter 3. What's that supposed to mean? Chapter what is 3. Knowledge that rodents hoard? Nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it, now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Groot blew our stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the DAS Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. Uh, so yeah, high toast, and uh, I don't think this is in the same universe Open as the, the MCU, so... Don't believe that, Do not think that anything that happened. It's funny. Has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. Wait. I am watching you. Oh. Thought I was seeing a unit through the chair. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Nothing? Hmm. There it is. Communications tablet. Okay, so we have a lot of... I don't know if you saw, but there's new conversations we unlocked from things I collected. And also, anytime you want, you can just go... Ah. Stars. Okay. Let's see if we can find some units in the in the sofa. Oh. Looking in the sofa. Hmm. I'll search my quarters for units. What's this? Oh! 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 No! 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 Did not realize that was the music thing. Woo -hoo -hoo. That was very close. Ah! Uh, that was very close. I actually did not... I don't know a lot about Drax as a character, ODG, so I do not know on that one. Groot, you okay in there? Think you could open the door for a minute? What? Is that my toothbrush? <laughs> now I need a new toothbrush. Uh... He does have elemental guns in this game. Correct. Any Hi, Drax. I uncover will go directly to you, but I am unsure the others will do the same. So you're taking the whole find the units thing pretty seriously. It is a serious matter. Yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. We're all afraid of going back to prison. I am not afraid of going back to prison. Oh, good, because I'm not either. <laughs> <laughs> In the kiln, I was surrounded by criminals, murderers, and thieves. They taught me a harsh lesson. Assassins and bounty hunters cannot be trusted. Okay. Wow. Don't you think maybe you're calling the kettle black? I have not mentioned kitchenware. It, it, it's an earth thing. What I mean is, you're a convicted mass murderer. I used to be a pirate. We're not exactly upstanding citizens. Oh, tracks. Honor. Our word. I cannot say the same for the others. You could be wrong, Drax. You won't know until you give them a chance. We will see. 
Uh, I actually don't know if I've unlocked the elemental guns yet. Oh, okay. But yeah, hello, welcome. We're still pretty early in the game. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. What are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. <laughs> See you in the lounge? <laughs> out. Got it. Good, good talk. Good talk. Let's keep going. Um, this is my room. Hey, Bluebird, you copy? I know you think I sold you out, and who's Bluebird? Uh, Gamora, I oh, just... who are you talking to? What's a Bluebird? It, um, was Yondu's call sign. He was Bluebird and I was the kid. Aww. <laughs> Let me get this straight. Yondu Udanta, leader of the Ravager Space Virus, scourge of the Sirius system and all-around scoundrel, used Bluebird as his call sign? <laughs> Even had it embroidered on the back of his jacket. Amazing. It was amazing. Pretty much from the day we met. How did you two meet? Terrans and Centaurians aren't exactly neighbors. We met on Chitari Prime, about three years into my sentence. Wait, Yondu was a prisoner of war? I, I, I thought the Ravagers were neutral. They were, and they also weren't. <laughs> Um The Ravagers had a simple code. Steal from everyone. Yandu said it made them neutral. But they weren't. I specifically remember several Shatari transports being hit when I was still you know. They hit just as many resistance ships until a Shatari cruiser uncloaked in front of them during a raid and Yandu ended up on Shatari Prime with you. Mm. After we broke out, he could have left me on some space station or dropped me off at the nearest Nova Corps base, but he didn't. Instead, he invited me to join the Ravagers. You were with them a long time. You must have enjoyed it. I did. Being a Ravager was the first time I felt like I really belonged, if that makes any sense. I felt the same way when I joined Richard Ryder and the Resistance. Like I was finally in control of who I wanted to be. Yes, exactly. Those first few years, it was... It was like I had joined this really big, really dysfunctional family, which, now that I'm hearing it, would make Yondu my... Space dad? <laughs> Could have been worse. Uh, hi Ironhide, hi noobs, and yeah, the, uh, the universe is obviously... Gonna, gonna be it's not the MCU or anything like that it's something like yeah something of its own but based on the comics in a lot of ways um, this is probably gonna be a pretty conversation heavy section because we collected a bunch of stuff that we can have conversations about is my guess so we're just gonna have as many of as many of them as we can and then get into uh, get into um, more combat I assume soon uh, and just a reminder I'm recording this to go up on YouTube because I want people to be able to watch it so I won't be talking a lot over dialogue so everybody can hear everything just FYI not that I don't want to say hi to you and greet you and all that stuff like normal I just want to make sure everybody on YouTube gets a good experience watching this later as well so Yadu and I were cellmates <laughs> first thing he said when they put him in my cell was boy don't be going and getting attached because I'm just here for the food and the food was pretty terrible, so... Yeah, that sounds like Yondu. I had cellmates before, and none of them lasted long. The Shatari have these... gladiatorial games, and... You got used to people dying. Not sure about that, but... I didn't expect anyone to last long. 
I also didn't have my translation implant back then, so I might as well have been alone. But Yondu, he actually spoke English. Said hmm. he'd offered to translate in exchange for extra rations. So even in the snake-infested hellhole, never the schemer. It's something we had in common. I'd been scheming for a way to escape since the day they took me. I just needed someone like Yondu to make it seem possible. How did you escape? <laughs> well, let's just say it was equal parts simple, complicated, and kind of embarrassing. But it ended with the two of us delivering a transport full of stolen supplies straight into the hands of the Resistance. For a buck a load of units, too, I bet. Anyway, once we did, there was no going back. I was a Ravager. <clears throat> well, if you don't mind, I think I'd like to be alone for a bit. Oh. Yeah, sure. I'll see you around. The dialogue is just really, really, really solid. Uh, feel better, ODG, and um, how long has the rewind button been on Twitch? It's something new that they're testing. I don't even think everybody has it yet. Aw. That photo right there is pretty fun, the one on the right. I found some, well, well, well. found some units. We can find some stray units in here. Maybe. Really? Oh, I didn't shoot. I wanted to keep having conversations. We appear to be seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know. I know. We clearly. Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out my on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's uh -oh. in trouble. And you can't be wrong to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the mid- Guys. I think we should hear our group for once. I am <laughs> He's got a point. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! That. Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. So, Groot, I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. <laughs> He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. <laughs> Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Dang it! Ah, oh, chat. What do we choose here? Do we sell Groot? Do we sell Rocket? Anybody have any thoughts? Just type your uh, type your your choice in chat, and whoever has the more, whoever whatever is selected more. So we got we got. Three for two for rocket, three for rocket, three for Groot. Great, great, great. This is good. This is good. Another for Groot. 
Groot equals more cute, more dollars, rocket. Oh man, I wasn't keep I wasn't planning on keeping track of this now. Okay, so three, four Is it four each now? Are we at four each? Rocket. Rocket <laughs> dang it. I think Rocket's in the lead right now. I'm just going by feeling here. Just going by feeling here. This should have been a poll. Here, we'll do we'll do a two minute poll. How is the poll doing? Uh, we are running out of time. Oh my gosh, it's seriously seven and seven. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is seriously seven and seven. And yeah, it does really look like they're looking directly at me. Okay, Rockets, Rockets got the lead. Hello, Alien. I got to figure out how to edit this now for YouTube. Uh, I don't know. Uh, oh, come on. <laughs> Come on. You guys are evil. You guys are evil with this poll. I'll figure out how to edit this for YouTube, because this is not amazing YouTube content since they won't be able to see the poll. But uh, Are you kidding me? You guys are evil. Alright, we're gonna sell a rocket. We're gonna sell a rocket. <laughs> he's just a tree. Well, oh Rocket's no! Scary on the inside. He's unstable and vicious, and totally oblivious to the needs of others. <clears throat> okay, we uh, we get it. <laughs> the point is, is I think you'd make a fine monster, and we'll definitely need that tactical brain of yours to bust you out once you're in there. But just to be one hundred percent sure, you're definitely okay with this. Uh, are you kidding? I can't wait to hold this over you. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Guys, this game is beautiful. Just We're not seriously beautiful. You say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. I'm playing this on PC, King. I was supposed to have all those other conversations. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. <laughs> nope. You know how much I like scoping. Next time, I'm flying. Exit Once the Milano. Do not fly ships. Oh, can I still have the conversations? Nope, that's that's bad. Don't do that thing again. Don't you get all gloomy right Wait, can I still? Oh, I can upgrade. I bet. Because you're constant complaining, Daz. <laughs> yes. You are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a game. Um. Okay, I have a lot of stuff. Um. Scan enemies during combat with the visor. Slow time briefly when dodging at the last second. Falling. Dashing. Drop additional health. Maybe I should do extra health. That feels like it would be good for me. That's a lot of what I have, though. Oh, boy. Screw it. We're doing it. One tick. Done. All right. Now that was some quality crafting, if I might say so myself. Ah. 
Ah, that's not the right room. So I think we can still have conversations. There's multiple things in Rocket's room to have a conversation about. Let's have... Oh, I've already looked at that. That was in my first video. So it's this thing that I can have a conversation about. Why does this thing look so sinister? I found this in the last mission. Who said you could touch that? I don't go into your room and touch your stuff, Quill. What? You hacked my visor and added a scoreboard to it while I was sleeping. <laughs> yeah, that was different. I improved it. Also, did anyone tell you that you snore? I thought Drax was bad, but wow. Quill, you should really get that checked. You sound like a Torg. I don't snore that loud. <laughs> yeah, okay. So what is this thing anyway? It kind of looks like a metal face hugger. That is clearly a spinal control unit. Yes, right, of course. A spinal control thingy. Nailed it. Back on Half-World, Kree scientists use these to keep us super soldiers in line. Uh, they'd press a big, fun red button and zap! Instant obedience. Holy crap. Rocket. Alright, let's do super soldiers. How many soldiers. super soldiers were there on Half-World? When the Kree started, a hundred, maybe. By the time I escaped, just me and Lila. She was the first one not to die from the control unit. And Lila is also a... What? A raccoon? Or not a raccoon. You gotta understand. She was afraid of him. And the control unit made sure we stayed in line. That I stayed in line. Oh, that sounds... awful. I can't imagine. So, I did what I do best. I found a way to overload the control unit. When the Blueskins let us out of our cage, kaboom! <laughs> I blew a hole into the side of the lab. What we didn't know, what I didn't know, was that the lab was protected by sentry bots. We got to the security fence and Lila covered me while I hacked the modulator frequency and uh, as soon as it opened, she pushed me through the door. Oh. I heard her die, Quill. Oh, rocket. Doesn't matter now. Past is the past, right? And that thing, it's just a reminder. Man. What exactly did the Kree do to you? They ripped me apart and rebuilt me over and over and over again until I became this half-finished thing they could mold and shape and control. Oh, Rocket, I had no idea. I mean, I knew the Kree Empire was desperate, but... Do you know what it's like to lose all control of your body? To be in constant pain, trapped inside yourself, and able to stop the horrible things you're doing? <laughs> that control unit made sure I did what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah, whether I wanted to or not. <laughs> A neat, furry little machine of death. Didn't take long to figure out I was better off not fighting it. Okay, then let's shoot this thing out the airlock. Have a little middle finger salute ceremony to the bastards who built it. Uh, yeah. I don't think I'm ready to let go of that part of me yet. Maybe one day. Hmm. Are you 100% sure you want to keep it? What if it controls me? Eh, I decided a long time ago, Quill, that I would never let anyone control me again. As far as I'm concerned, this is just another useful piece of junk and a few bad memories. I'm... Sorry, you had to go through Man. that rocket. For real. That was very intense. I swear I've already read this. It's flashing at me, though, like I haven't. So I guess I'll pick it up and see if it's different. Yeah, okay. I have read that. This is the one about the gold suits. That thing just flash, or was that just a glare? Interesting. Contraxia. Contraxia again. Contraxia? It's true. Who cares if I'm Contraxia's got nice weather. What is this? We haven't picked up this yet, right? Oh, is this the the Star Lord cassette? That's funny. I hope y'all like walking because this is gonna take a while. We 
But you think I'm glad we landed this far from the fortress? Cheer up, rodent. The rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. <laughs> Somebody keeps leaving the fridge open. You love rain, Clark and Plant. Alright, where is... We should have more... Did I not find Drax's room? That's the bathroom. Uh, why don't we no, we talked to Drax. Nice, warm, dry we need to find Groot's room, right? Nah, whatever. Let's go do some. Nice let's go do some combat. What's this? Oh, this is the voice. Yeah, it looks broken. Maybe Rocket can fix it. This is where we have a conversation with Groot. Groot, hey, buddy. I was just uh, checking to see if everything was okay, and it is okay. I am Groot. Too bad this translator's busted. I was hoping it might have Groot stored on it or something. I am Groot. That way I could download it into my translator. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on stuff without, you know, Rocket always filtering it. I am Groot. Uh... Actually, hold that thought. Yo, Rocket! What? Can you come here for a sec? <laughs> what do you want, Quill? I'm busy. Think you can see if this translator has Groot's language on it? It doesn't. You didn't even check. Don't need to. Cheap scut like that don't have rare language packages. And even if it did, it's beyond salvageable. Really? Wait, do you have Groot's language package installed in your translation implant? Do I look like I'm made of units? Only folks who got that language package are rich people. So you actually speak Groot then? You mean Talinizen? And yeah, I speak it, more or less. Me and Groot been bounty hunting together for a decade before you came along, Quill. When you've been working together that long, you develop a common understanding. I am Groot. You say misunderstandings, I say open to interpretation. I am Groot. They didn't go sour. We didn't need those jobs anyway. <laughs> so you guys learned to understand each other over time. And with the help of a spreadsheet of Groot's lexicon, which ain't no easy feat when your entire language sounds like I am in Groot. There's hope for us yet. I wonder if we learn how to speak Groot over the over the course of the game. That'd be kind of cool. You know, I didn't always have a translation implant. I mean... I was feeling Spanish before I left Earth, not that Spanish would have prepared me for all of this. Man, those first few years, do you know how hard it was to get by without having any idea what people were saying? Half of the languages out here sound like white noise, weird birds, and messed up theremins. <laughs> I don't even want to know what Rocket actually sounds like. <laughs> TV did not prepare me for the realities of living in space, let me tell you. <coughs> Honestly, man, you're lucky you have Rocket. I mean, I know what it's like to be surrounded by people and have no one understand you, how lonely that can be. I'd have been lost. You must have been lost, too, before Rocket and, and us. I am. Oh. Probably don't say this enough. He said it really so sadly. Important part of the team. I can't imagine the gardeners of the galaxy without Groot. <laughs> and who knows? <laughs> if this thing does have your language in it, and Rocket can download it somehow, or hack it, or I don't know. <laughs> It'd be nice to finally talk to you. For real. Glad we had this little chat. I am Groot. Awesome. Cool. Did you get all that, Peter? I mean, I feel like I understand what's going on now, but... Holy crap. What is this? This could all have been avoided if the rodent had uh, his hidden cache of units. How many times do I gotta tell you I ain't got no units? Let's leave that closed. Let's leave that closed. I've had to deny being a shapeshifter before Drax moved on to something else. <laughs> I still have my doubts. It's not possible for you to slip into combat armor this fast. I use a lot of lotion. 
Oh, com uh, the dialogue is just always surprising. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. Uh, I think a few years, King. A few years, I think. They say that Seknarf Nine is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. Aw, thanks for calling me soft-bodied. We accomplished nothing by lingering in the ship. How about staying dry? That's an accomplishment. Okay, so if they still have the line over their head, they have more to say. Okay. That's sweet, but we both know you ain't got money to buy no umbrella. Aw, who just wants an umbrella? Be nice, Rocket. Of course. It had to be raining. <sighs> I hate wet. Not wrong. All right. We have more dialogue to have, but let's do some let's do some action. Bet we could have made Okay, here we go. Let's see. At least Quill had the good sense. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? A lot of dialogues over top of each other there. I sense there is more coming. Sure would be nice if I could So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. That was weird. There is nothing hmm. to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. Whoa! That is some really crazy lightning out there. Never seen anything like it. Meteorological suicide is what it is. I'm super excited that my, like, even with that kind of stuff going on, I'm getting almost my entire full frame rate. So, what's the deal with Captain Girlfriend anyway? The Kree woman seemed professional and disciplined. Woo! Graceful. I know. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord. We ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. Build morale. Right. It'll be fun. <laughs> That's just a fancy word for walking. Nailed it. On, Nailed it. Drax neglected to mention this buyer lived in the middle of a flarkin monsoon. It was not pertinent to our task. Can we at least wait it out in the Milano? Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. I agree. The bottom way looks drier. The bottom way is death. There are beasts in the jungle. Well, there's a beast up here, too, and he don't like being wet. Yes, Hector. PC. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. I should probably put that in my title, come to think of it. Wait, she controls the weather? So we're still doing this. Yes. Constantly feel like I'm gonna fall off when I do that. Wait, what's down here? Woo! Treats! I'm not cowering. I'm exploring. Exactly. Really ain't doing it for me, Quill. No storm. Is her monster trap? Yeah, well her trap ain't doing it for me either. She doesn't even know we're here. Can we at least agree this was the worst landing in history? So what if it's the right planet? It's the wrong side of the right planet. Okay. So maybe this wasn't my most perfect landing. Happy? No. Guys, focus. Keep an eye out on the big blue ones. Oh. Cover when they hit, or we'll get blown right off. Good advice. Okay, 
This might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, we were live. Uh oh. Okay. Oh. Nailed it. Nailed it. Everyone okay? I didn't fall off, guys. You gotta give me some credit there. We should have gone to Mako 4. Hey, check out the old resistance ship. Things been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. <laughs> eh, not sure. But it ain't moving now. I would be wary, Rodin. Eh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I had such a. Uh, elemental blaster time for sure. For sure. Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Show up some muscle. I will end you. Oh, I thought. Oh, buddy! Did, did not pay attention. The jelly is charging. <laughs> Ow! Controls are taking a little getting used to. Peter Quill, I have rescued you. Right with 
Man. There it is. Woo! That was very, very uh, intense. We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. Creatures here are not her pets. We sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flock is she going? Okay, it's wreckage. There's a trail going through the jungle. Try oh, hey. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. Drax, you can pull this reactor out gently. Right? There it is. Uh, game is great in a flash. I'm having fun. I don't do a lot of damage right now. No, no, no. I think we're good. Got to figure that out. Great. We made it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel is all yours. It still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Fair. Mark, that don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady. I oh, hey! I found a thing. All right. The war rages between resistance forces and the vile Chitari. We've engaged them throughout the Seknarf system with the costliest battles taking place in orbit of Seknarf 9. We've already seen the Chitari landing on the planet's surface, which makes us rethink our belief that it is a neutral world. Or maybe the Monster Queen fights her own resistance below? If we ever intended to find an alliance here, we've long since ruined our chances by pelting her world with downed ships. Not just Chitari. We've already lost half of our own fleet. It must look like the heavens are raining fire from down there. There are no winners in this conflict. Only death. We're waiting for the inevitable retreat orders. We cannot win this battle. I'm not even certain we can win this war. In case you guys did not know, I do try to do side exploring, all that kind of stuff when I'm playing a game like this. Especially the first time, so... There will be a, a lot of looking around. Uh, it has in-game cosmetics, but they're all just, you find them in the world. Yo. It's kind of pretty in a noodly chaotic so you can come in here and change, even for ships. I have not seen any ship cosmetics, but I can change to any of those. My, uh, my Groot is currently wearing the MCU skin that I have. So... It does spawn. Or it is, I guess. I'm having fun so far. Weren't any storms where I grew up either, since it was a secret lab. Can we go now? Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay. What are you looking at, Drax? If you see anything with flaws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? Or sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance hmm. doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us will jump first? It's probably not going to jump us. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a fun little guess. Sure. We're going to get jumped back here, aren't we? Not me. I'm just exploring. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary. Mysterious. Found something quilt. Yeah, some kind of cave. He's got hidden treasure. Oh boy. Hidden bodies. I do. I have a lot of suits unlocked already. I think a lot of them just came with the game. Don't let there be a space bear in here. Uh, space bears. And hello, mystery goo. 
Is mystery is mystery goo good? How do we feel about mystery goo? Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet. There's definitely something there, but I'm afraid of it. So we're gonna gonna get a little distance. Nothing. Wait, is this the right way? Ah! Get me killed. I don't have enough abilities to fight these guys on my own. Stop getting your health back! Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. That is a lot harder without the Guardians. Hmm, 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 hmm. Careful. Looks like something big moved through here. Let me guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us it will jump first? I feel like we gotta... Not gonna jump I feel like we gotta try it again. I wanna see if I can beat those guys. I wanna see if I can beat them. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Uh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And <gasps> yeah, look at that. That's what you get for beating those guys. You get an outfit. Do you see it? No, just try and stay ready. I don't think I have my elemental blasters yet. That would make it so much wow. easier. Oh, uh, what? Ow! The only thing I really have is this gun recharge.
No! Got one. No! Missing that timing. Man. Man, they get their... Okay, that was that was more more difficult than I thought it was gonna be, but I did it. What are those hands? What is that? All right, only the second try. Just goes to show you why you need the guardians. This goes to show you why you need the guardians. Okay. This is I did it for this. This is an outfit right here. Chat. How do you guys feel about uh, Gamora MCU? Should we do MCU Gamora, or should we keep it in the in the standard video game outfit? What do you think? Standard. We'll switch back and forth. I don't really, I don't know how I feel about the Star Lord outfit so far. Like, they're cool, but I kind of like his standard at the moment. They're very cool. I just don't know, like, this is the one I found. I don't know. I'm going to stick with the standard for a bit. Alright. This is the way out. That's the way I came, so I gotta go out this way. I'm exploring Quill, cause uh, I really need to talk to you. What up? So we get a bonus conversation for this? Personal. I need to get off my chest. It's the kind of thing you don't want people. Uh, well, you you know, right? And I. Uh, I don't want the big guy to find out, so, uh, yeah. JD, you only play as Star-Lord in the game. Also, hi, JD. Hi, Matthew. All right, man, what's up? Look, there's no easy way to say this, so I'll just say it. I think I'm dying, Quill. Oh. Even with all these freaking augmentations, Shut knows what else I, I just... I need to know that you'll take care of Groot for me. I, uh... I, I, I just, uh... You... I had no idea, man. Does Groot know? No. No, no, no. And, uh... You can't tell him. You're gonna destroy him. If the day comes that I... Just promise me you'll take care of Groot. Of course. Promise. Of course. And, uh... Are you... In that, uh... Are you messing with me? <laughs> uh... You know, say you'll bury me in the in the Milano. <laughs> Rocket! Oh, I can't believe your face. It was like I, I can't even describe your freaking face. Rocket! That was so mean. Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. Huh? So the game has like. Man, that really like kind of heightens the the Jedi Fallen Order comparison. You just like 
go off to the side and fight like random enemies and stuff like that. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, rodent? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax. I'm just looking around. This place is a flarkin' maze. All those trees look like... Like giant strings of saltwater taffy. What? What's taffy? It's sweet and delicious, and it melts in your mouth. And looks like a tree, apparently. And it is made of salted water. No, that's just the name. <laughs> okay, then. There's further proof that we are not alone here. If we turn back every time we have wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. Drax, think this is a sign from Lady Hellbender? We are clearly not wanted on this planet. Pruning? Okay, so that sounds like Gamora. Sounds like Gamora. Villager, I don't know the answer to that question. But hello. Ooh. We all know which Harlot spawned it first. What about her sister, Nebula? Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. That, too. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Lots of side exploring. Ooh. A treat. I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's legendary menagerie. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. What's the weirdest monster? Can I climb this? I no. once uh, brood transformed Regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. Uh, oh! Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle? I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face! This isn't good. Um, Alright, I think that's where we're going to cut that off for now. We have a decision to be made in the game. And honestly, it's kind of a little bit fun to leave you with a cliffhanger. Like I said, you won't have to wait long because the next part is pretty much ready already. But I hope you enjoy this section of Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Like I said at the beginning, I am loving playing this game. So I hope you're enjoying watching it. Thanks for watching all the way through and I'll see you for the next one.